On today's show, it's the 4th of July, Independence Day. And now that we're independent of England, it's time for independence from our dictator husbands. Let the fireworks begin. And now your very own Uncle Sam Bay. celebration. It's a day that we celebrate an event that took place over 200 years ago, our Declaration of Independence. <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm Richard Bay, and this is Richard Bay Talk on the 4th of July. And like Schrodinger's cat, I am not only here, but I am in New York City celebrating the 4th of July. What better place with the fireworks and everything else? going on. Thank you so much for uh, joining me once again on Richard Bay Talk. And I hope you're celebrating the 4th of July and remembering that it's more than just a day at the beach or a picnic, a barbecue, uh, family get together. It's the day not only, and it's even more than just celebrating our independence from Great Britain. We're celebrating the establishment of a democratic republic that has exhibited peaceful transition of power for almost its entire existence, well, until recently, unfortunately. But, um, you know, when we gained our independence from Great Britain, King George III was the ruler as well as the ruler of all the 13 American colonies. And when we won our independence and finally signed the treaty in 1783 um, and eventually elected George Washington president, he served two terms. And when his second term was over, he said, I'm going back to my farm in Virginia, and I'm leaving politics. He didn't say, I'm going to run again. In fact, at one time, he was offered the position of King of the United States, and he turned it down and instead promoted the Democratic Republic that we knew for so many years. And when he finally after two terms said, I'm going back to the farm and I'm leaving politics and I'm not going to be president anymore. I'm giving up power. I'm relinquishing my authority and power and prestige as president to somebody else in a peaceful transition, a democratic transition. King George in England was heard to say, well, if he actually goes through with that, if he actually does that, he will be the greatest man in history. Well, George Washington did do that, even though our last president didn't do that. And the other thing was, George III was haunted by losing his richest colony. Now, India is called the jewel of the crown, and that was their colony. But America was probably richer. And probably, if we had remained a colony, would have been far richer than anything else uh, that was in the British Empire. So, King George haunted by this for years, eventually went mad. <coughs> I mean, crazy mad. I mean, Donald Trump mad. 
Anyway, uh, these days they believe it was uh, probably some kind of uric poisoning that caused him to go wacko. But in the 19th century, uh, yeah, the 19th century, in the 18th century, the, uh, the, the rumor, the gossip, the morning line was that he went mad because he lost the 13 colonies and he couldn't deal with the fact that the British Redcoats, the greatest army in the world, had been defeated. So George III, we gained our independence and he went mad. But there was another king who went mad. And his experience was explored in the madness of King Richard. Take a look at this. Greetings, my subjects. Greetings. Today we explore the madness of King Richard. Now you may say, he's the king. What could he be mad about? Well, I've been having problems with the queen. Where is my good queen, Derry? Mm, she's not around. No, the Dairy Queen is back in the White Castle, fooling around with the Burger King. <laughs> but if you think that's a problem, you should see the guests who have come here today to demand a royal audience to ask, can this relationship be saved? <sighs> oh, well, if the Queen's not around, there's always the ladies in waiting. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for the Richard Bay Show, next! Come here, my dear. <laughs> Give me a little kiss here. Want the lipstick? Yes. Yeah. It's good to be the king. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> but you want to know what's bad? Oh, this, this hairstyle. There's only one king who has a more annoying hairstyle than this. Don King. Um, <laughs> a lot of people... It's wonderful to have subjects who are so easily amused. <laughs> I hope you had a fun time watching. I hope, I hope it was a, a, a great little side dish, a spice to your enjoyment of July 4th. And I hope you subscribe and tell your friends about this podcast. So many of you have done that, and thank you. But we need more. So... Please share it, tell your friends about it, listen to it wherever you can find audio podcasts, Google, Apple, Spotify. And thank you for joining me today. Enjoy that 4th of July and all my best. Take care. Mm -hmm.